Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain, and my friend Kelsey's with me today because today we will be making cupcakes for my girlfriend's birthday on Saturday. So, this is how we make my version of rainbow cupcakes. I'm going to be starting with a basic white, boring old cake mix and spicing it up, making it rainbow. Today, we're going to be making the cupcakes. And tomorrow, in the video, I will do another video showing you how to decorate them because we are going to decorate them to look like a bouquet of flowers. So we've already started by lining our cake pan with these really pretty black and white cupcake holders. So step number one. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees, so we will do that. Okay, while the oven's preheating, we can make the cupcakes. So for this, we need a cup of water, half a cup of vegetable oil, three eggs, and my secret ingredients. And, obviously, the cake mix. <laughs> so. Here's our cake mix. I can't see it, do you? No. Okay, here we go. I don't really care. So here's our cake mix. Cake mix 101. We'll make a nice garbage pile over here. And then the cup Pour of in our cup of water. Okay. Pour in our half a cup of olive oil. In this case, we're using canola oil because that was really the only oil I had other than vegetable oil, which you never, just in case you guys are new to baking, don't ever use vegetable oil or peanut oil or sunflower oil or anything unless you're making something that specifically calls for it because that's not the best thing for baking and it will make them taste really bad. I've tried the, out, the olive oil before and it did not come out right. It was very greasy and just didn't work right. So I don't recommend doing that, just as a tip. See, going in, egg number one. Be careful, you don't get shells in there. That would not be good. That would taste really gross. I don't think you want crunchy eggs. Crunchy. Egg number three. And then? Nope. Then we're going to add in our secret ingredients. So, you guys have never heard of Funfetti cupcakes? I'm making my own version because I had Funfetti frosting. And I will not be using the frosting for, or the, the sprinkles for the cupcake, for the frosting because they're going to be made look like flowers. I'm putting the sprinkles inside the cake batter to make it like a funfetti type of cake. So we have these really cool Summer. pastel looking. Sprinkles guys can see. Then I will also be adding in some hazelnut extract for some little extra flavor if I can get this stupid thing open. I will be adding in some vanilla extract and some cinnamon. Tell me one. No, a little more. This should be good. Okay, now we'll take this over to Kelsey, and she will mix it up while I get some of the dishes cleaned up from <laughs> the garbage thrown out. Oh, it smells so good. It's so pretty.
Ooh, ah. It's so pretty. <laughs> it smells good too. Is it mixed up yet? Hmm? Is it mixed up yet? Well, you could be the judge of that. Just as long as it's not chunky. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Well, guys, that's done and over with. <laughs> Now the next step is to, we are going to be, yeah, be making nine different color cake batters. So next step is we need to divide the cake batters into nine separate sections so we can color them. So let's get our bowls out here, guys. Something in there. Oh, it's a little gross. And we bought this pack of food color. It only comes with the basic red, blue, green, yellow. But if you look at the back of it, there's instructions on how to make other colors. So we're so today we're gonna be making red, yellow, green, blue, purple, orange, teal, mint green, and rose. Should be interesting. I've never made these colors before other than the basic colors. So this will be a learning experiment. So let's divide and conquer. I need to take this out. Throw this over into our lovely sink right here. Just a little each way. That should be good. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure it gets all nine bowls. That should be good. No, I know. I'm just waiting for it to dry. So right now we're separating out the colors. You can't see it very well, but I'll show you the colors as we're making them and how to make each one of the extra colors that are not the basic colors. Because as I mentioned before, the directions are all on the back of the package for you on how to make each of these different colors. Mm, well, we might have extra. Yikes. Sorry guys, I'm a little short for this. This one needs more. A little more, and then maybe this one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Possibly that white one. Just be trying to get this all out of here. Yeah. Okay. Well, there. my favorite part is licking the spoon. So you can have at that since we don't need that spoon anymore. <laughs> oh, that's good cake batter. Okay. Okay. So the first color we will be making is simple red. Red. Yes. For so red, basically, we need. Well, no, you don't have to go by. So on the back of this, you do not need to go by this for just the basic colors that come in it. You can do your own thing. Just eyeball it, figure it out yourself. However many you think are needed for this. So we're going to be doing the red. And while she's making red, I'll be making the blue. How many drops should we do? Let's see. Whatever you think. I'm going to start with five. Okay, just a couple big ones. So here's a spoon for that one. Ooh, this blue is super pretty. I like this red. What do you think? It's really pretty. Should we get more or? I think that's some mm -hmm. good shade. So right? here's the blue that we made. Here's the red. Ah. Next, we will be making green and yellow. Our next two colors up on the list. 
If you do green, I call yellow. Okay. <laughs> Guys, yellow is my favorite color. Yes. And fun fact about me, my favorite color is hot pink. Oops. Kind of made a little bit of a mess there. Well, that green is so vibrant. I think it's not really nice. Okay. Ooh, this yellow is so pretty. Okay. Oh, and I didn't realize, guys, too, on the back of this package, it tells you how to do it if you're doing frosting, which I will show you tomorrow when I do the, de the decorating portion of this cake. Well, cupcakes and the egg dyeing. So there's our yellow. So pretty. Here's our lovely green. Kind of looks like a little bit of throw up. <laughs> so next we will be doing orange, which is 50 squirts of yellow, eight of red. I don't think you need quite that much. It's not a full cake batter. And we will be doing teal, which is 10 blue, two green. We'll do four drops of each. Okay, that should be enough. I'm kind of splattering it all over the counter. What is it? It's green and blue. Let's see. And if you don't like the way these come out, you can always obviously readjust. I'm saying this is not with teal at all. Maybe a little more green. It's a different shade. I kind of like it. Yeah, maybe add a touch more green. This is not with teal. Oh, this is orange got lore. That's definitely... That one looks like fire. Huh? That one looks like fire. Yeah, but I like the shade. I mean, it's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so here's my version of teal. It's not really teal. It's like a dark it's green. Like it's sea blue. blue color. It's an sea orange. Blue color. And, oh, did you show them the orange? Here's the orange color. So, like a fire orange. Next, we'll be making mint green, which is nine green, three yellow. And rose, which is 12 red and four blue. So... Why did I get, I got one too many spoons. Wait, what did I say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff a little bit. 12 red, 4 blue. Mm -hmm. 12 red and 4 blue. What color are you making? You're making mint green. Ooh. What the heck? This looks like more purple. It's a dark purple. This did not come out. This came out more of a purple than a rose color. <laughs> Let's see what this makes. Maybe add a little more blue. This did not come out right. This came out like a weird brownish purple color. I'm not happy with this at all. <laughs> what about this color? That's almost close. Okay, so apparently my rose has now become a dark purple. And it's no longer rose colored anymore. That's yeah. fine. That looks kind of pretty. So I made a dark purple because the rose did not come out correctly. And then the mint green. Yeah, that looks good. It looks more, the mint green looks more of a lime green than a mint green. Yeah, you know, it's all good. Okay. So I don't need that. The next part is filling cupcakes. So 
This is not gonna, there's no exact way to do this. I'm gonna do each one a little bit different so they all look a little different. So. I'm gonna start, uh, let's, you do th these six and I'll okay. do these. So, yeah, we'll each do six. So for my first one, I'm gonna start with the mint green. And basically I'm gonna do this differently. I'm gonna do like a scoop of each. Like that? Whatever you think, you're doing it however you want. Okay. Um, Cause I don't want them to be all uniform. Well, obviously. We're gonna do some lime green, some yellow. And as we go through and do this, we will show you. We'll show you the aftermath. <laughs> that was probably not very good hygiene etiquette. Oops. Sorry guys, I'm new to doing this. Pass me the yellow. Um, one tip too, guys, just remember, when filling these up, make sure you only fill them halfway. They will rise. If you fill them more than that, they will ruin your cake pans. As you can kind of see from mine, I have done that a couple times, and it's destroyed my pans. And hopefully Santa will be nice and get me more. <laughs> Since I asked Santa last Christmas for new baking stuff, and that was not a thing, apparently. So pretty. What are you looking for? So only keep it to halfway unless you want a big mess. Um, sometimes in the instructions it will tell you how high to fill them. The gift thumb is blue. Yeah. Hey guys, look, I got a blue thumb. Productive. Bake with me 101. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Okay, um, I just need to know how long to bake them for. We need purple and that green, and then the first one is done. I don't even know what colors I haven't used yet in this. I don't even care. <laughs> and this is not, like I said, this is not an exact science. It can be different any way you do it. Use this one now. You can reuse colors multiple times. You can do, like, layers. You can do them any way you want. I'm doing them this way. You can just totally layer the colors. You can do them... And swirl patterns. The big key though is, for me anyways, not to make them identical. The, the first one's done. Look how pretty that is. That's cool. Two cupcakes, done. Two down. I can't even do math. Whatever 12 minus 2 is. Oh, 10 more to go. <laughs> Is it me or is it raining? Yes. In case you guys couldn't tell from the background, there is rain outside right now. We live <laughs> in gloomy town, New York. Yes. AKA Bampton. <laughs> in New York, where it rains. It's not uh, raining, it's snowing. If it's not snowing, it's so hot you can't breathe. <laughs> True. We never have good weather here. We're the only st area that it can experience four states, four seasons, in, and one, in one day. day. Yeah. Um. And sorry, guys, if you think I'm being rude, I keep looking at my watch. I just keep getting messages. I had a lady message me regarding another video that may or may not be posted by the time this video is posted. I'm not sure. Depending on what order I decide to post the videos. Some of these you won't be able to tell what they look like until they're done. Because the way I'm do the way some of these are done, like they're done in layers. I think 
that's good. I didn't do red in that one, but who cares? Like I said, this is not an exact science. Um, you can buy at places like Walmart, and I'm assuming probably Target and such. You can buy, um, if you've ever seen the show Ace of Cakes, the guy that owns the shop, Duff. I love Duff. He has a cake mix that's tie-dye, and it tells you specifically how to do it. I love Duff. If you want to be that person, and you like everything uniformed and such. Um, We're just not But I'm an eyeball. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me personally, or haven't watched enough of my videos yet, I'm a nutcase. She is. I've known her for almost a decade. And my girl, and that, and that's the favorite, my girlfriend's favorite thing about me. So that's why this is so perfect. Because she won't care. No, she won't. It's the thought, the effort, and the, and the fact that they taste good. That's all she cares about. Is my thought, effort, and that they are edible. I hope they're edible. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't be. I like mixing colors. You might have enough to make another thing of them. So, guys, I might have underestimated, and this might not make 12. This might make way more than 12. I don't know why this seems like an extra lot of batter than it normally does. Ooh, we should do a demo. We should do a taste test. Make extras for us. If we have batter left... If we have batter left, we will make some to show you guys what they, to give you some general oh, idea look what at they this. look like. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I look lovely? Guys. We're so pretty. Let me grab a towel to at least clean off the pan. Always, too, a big thing. Always make sure you clean off your tray because anything that gets stuck to it will get ruined. I said it will destroy your tray. Okay, you got six down. And then you'll have to keep re buying the trays. And they're not cheap, although I do have two half ones that I got from the dollar store. They're pretty good quality for dollar store. So you can buy two half ones. But if you want a big sheet, then they're not cheap. Because they. They do not sell them at the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Start pouring. Is this, a, this is a dozen, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, Dude, eight, it's nine, pouring. Nine, seven, seven, seven. Rain, rain, go away, <laughs> come again another day. Little Kelsey and Katie want to play. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. It's raining, it's pouring, the old <laughs> man is snoring. He went, went to bed, bed and could, bumped his head. And he couldn't, couldn't get, get up in, in the morning. morning. Have you guys ever actually thought about that song? Me and a co-worker were talking about this one time. The song is actually really morbid. <laughs> in case you guys didn't ever notice. Why the, the old man doesn't get up is because he dies. A fun fact for you. A lot of songs are morbid. Like, in case you guys didn't know, the story, um, Ring Around the Rosie is based on the Black Plague. I knew that, but I really didn't care. So that's super morbid. Um, there's a lot of kids shows and stuff that are morbid. This is another topic for a whole other video. If you guys are interested, please comment below and let me know. And I will tell you, I will do a whole video on theories about different book, children's books, songs, TV shows, anything of that nature. Speaking of TV shows, what was your favorite childhood show? Ooh, that's a hard question. I don't think I could pick just one show. I mean, I had a lot of different shows as a kid. Like, on a rainy day, what do you always want to watch? <laughs> um, being a 90s child, I watched a lot of Nick Jr., so stuff like Gogol Island, 
Little Bill, Little Bear, the original. Blue's Clues? Blue's Clues, yes. The original um, Franklin, not the Franklin and Friends crap that's on TV now. I yes. watched a lot of Rugrats. Ugh. Chalk Zone. Invader Zim. My mother hated Rugrats. Wild Thornberries told my mom found out that she had superpowers. I'm kind of care. I love Wild Thornberries. Um, what other shows did I watch as a kid? I don't know. Zoom. If you ever watched Come on and kids. Zoom. Come on and Zoom. Come on and Zoom. 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 Ah, zoom. Or the original show to the Wild Crap Brothers, which was Zaboomafu. It was not the Wild Crap Brothers. Um, or one of my all time favorites was Arthur and Clifford. Clifford um, and Emily. Or going for a Another one I loved was Sagwa, the Siamese cat. I think I'm done. Okay, if you want to grab the... You have extra, so if you want to grab the half, try. Yeah, for us. We could do a demonstration. Okay? So now that we are almost done with this set, we still have a lot left over, so we're going to make a test one for ourselves. And to show all you lovely viewers... What they look like when they're edible. So the dye came on my left hand, but I still have. So here's what they look like when they're not edible. If I can get a good angle of this, sort of something. You guys can kind of see it's really hard to get a good angle. So I'm going to pop these in real quick. Let me. So to bake these, you bake these at 350 if you're using one of these. If you're not using one of these, then in a glass pan, it's 325. Do you want to finish up the black ones? Uh, doesn't matter. For the cupcakes, it's 12 to 17 minutes. So I will pop these in as my oven's already preheated. They're going to look so pretty. Oh, it's hot one. For minutes. All right. What colors do you want? Are we just gonna do like we did before? Yeah. Yep. So now we're making another half sheet since we had a lot of batter left over. We might as well do it all up. We may not have enough for a full half sheet, but we might as well do it up. <laughs> You know, does anyone remember the show Out of the Box? Oh, my dad was so annoyed with that show. Couldn't stand them. Out of the Box. Out of the Box. Anyone remember the So Long uh, Farewell song? Yes. So long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, I'll say so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together in the box. Now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. And I think we might have an unexpected visitor. I think I just heard the door. So, hi. just so you guys know, I live hi. with my dad. Who Say hi. Did you see my note? Yes, making a YouTube video. Did you see my Yes, I did. Did you see my note there? Yes, and I saw the trap in the other door, too. Okay. So, you gotta be careful, because that's a damn mouse. Damn yep, I found poop in my bed again, too. You did? Yep. Ew. You should put traps in there, too. What are you guys up to? Making a YouTube video and cupcakes because it's Sadie's birthday on Saturday, so I'm making her rainbow cupcakes. And oh, we had extra, so we're just shout out to my amazing girlfriend. I know you're probably gonna watch this because I'm gonna send we'll you. We'll clean up our mess. Well, I was planning on it anyways, whether he came home or not. But yes. Oh, another big thing, guys. Don't do what I do. I don't leave dishes for everybody else in your house to clean up, or leave them sitting out because they're, then they're a pain to clean if you wait too long to clean them. Especially with the food that I. <laughs> yes.
the dye will stain yourself. It will stain, well, probably not so much your dishes because it's made to be edible. But it will definitely stain your hands, as we've so kindly already figured out. On a good note, we did not wear white. <laughs> yes, on a good note, doesn't matter what I look like for work tomorrow. I wear black pants tomorrow. I work at a nursing home. I work with old people. I work with children, so I'd probably be co come home covered in I work God with knows old what. people. Anyways. They're picky. Sometimes I think they're worse than children. Depends on the old person. Just one of them. They're so sweet. They, yes. Old people can either be super sweet or... A pain in the butt. So rude. A pain in the butt. For those of you who don't know me, I had a great aunt. She was the rudest old lady ever, but <laughs> God. For as rude as she was, I loved her to absolute pieces. She was, if you needed food, right place to be. She was a, a little old Italian lady. So anytime you wanted food or didn't want food, it's here, want some food, want some food, want some food. No, we don't want food. Well, here's food anyways. The only old man I miss is my poppy. I miss my pops. Here's Ooh, my... this video's 31 minutes long so far. Well, because we're talking about random stuff. Well, no, because we're still making cupcakes. So hopefully by the time we get done making these, the first batch should be done. We'll be able to show you what they look like. These cupcakes because are for ourselves. Check. They have 12 minutes left. I don't want to make this video too much longer, guys. I don't want to bore you guys to tears. <laughs> you think we're boring? So I'll definitely have to edit some of this out for your guys' viewing pleasure. Do we have a not? We still have extra batter left. So we're making the other half pan too? Yeah, no. Okay. We're, that's not all going to fit in there. So I guess the other half pan it is? <laughs> you could get them to work. I'm not going to say anything to that because my coworkers are probably watching and making fun of me. <laughs> That's okay. I don't really care what you guys think anyways. But you guys already knew that. I don't think we'll need this whole half pan. No, but do some yellow because yellow's getting low. Oh, well, there's the weather forecast for you guys. Seventy degrees. It was seventy-eight earlier. Yellow's done. And we're done with our last two colors here, guys. The red, or the, is this orange? This is red. The red and the purple. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yay, rain tomorrow, guys. That's okay, I'm inside all day. Should I do this, the red and purple cupcake, I guess? That's all we have left, so we don't really have much of a choice. It's not going to fit in that one. Well, guys, I should probably check these cupcakes here real quick. Ooh, they're pretty. I will bring you guys over so you can... See what these masterpieces look like. Okay, so I gotta clean my room. My son is transgender. Here's a view of our lovely cupcakes in there. They look amazing. They look great. Should we start putting in our other cupcakes? 
Yeah. No, because the racks are too close together. So, these have a few more minutes left. Should we take these to those sink and wash them? Yeah. So, this is where I'm going to leave you guys for right now. Tomorrow I will, when I do the cupcake review. So, sorry, not review. The decorating of the cupcakes, I will show you what the cupcakes look like once they are cooled and cooked. So, catch you guys in my next video. Bye.